Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to provide you a brief introduction to cloud computing. In case if you are completely new to cloud computing and you're starting the journey of learning Azure, then this is extremely important for you to learn about cloud computing and its concepts. So let me take you through that in detail. So what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services such as servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence, many more over the internet. Let me take an example to explain about cloud computing. In case if you are starting a startup, generally when you start the company, you will rent an office. You won't build an office, right? You rent it. The similar concept goes with cloud computing also. Instead of buying this infrastructure, storage and everything, you are essentially renting it on monthly basis or hardly basis. And initially, cloud computing started with infrastructure and storage. But these days, all cloud providers are adding more value services uh, into the cloud, right? Because of growing popularity of cloud computing. And the company offering these computing services are called as cloud providers. For example, it can be AWS, that is Amazon Web Service, or Azure, or Google Cloud Platform, and so on. One important thing and the biggest advantage of cloud computing is whatever the cloud services that you use, you will always pay based on the usage. So there would, wouldn't be any upfront cost, right? So why do we need to adopt cloud computing? So what are the advantages of it? Let me take you through that. First one is cost hugely reduced capital cost of buying hardware and software. Earlier, when you need to build a data center, it's a multi-million project, right? And it's, it takes around six months to one year to get it done. Now, if you want to build your own private space in the cloud, you can do it in a matter of days rather than in a matter of months or years. In fact, uh, if you have design ready, you can do it in a matter of hours also. That's the second advantage. That is speed, right? Computing services can be provisioned in minutes, typically within few mouse clicks, right? And the third advantage is scalability. Computing resources can be scaled up and down within a matter of minutes according to the business requirements. So for example, you have 12 terabytes of data and if you want to add another four terabytes of data, within matter of minutes, you can add additional four terabytes of data, okay? And the fourth one is productivity. Computing takes out hardware setup and patching, etc. So IT team can focus on achieving on business goals, right? Basically with cloud computing, you have less operational effort. So you don't need to apply patching. You don't need to maintain hardware. Or in fact, if you go with PaaS, that is platform as a service, which we'll talk about in a second, you don't need to maintain the operating system as well, right? These thereby it frees up the time for IT team to focus on other value added areas and add value to the businesses. And the fifth one is reliability. Cloud computing makes data backup, disaster recovery, and business continuity less expensive and faster recovery. And the final advantage is security. I know many people might contradict with me in this area, but having worked in cloud, I can confidently say you can secure your resources within the cloud very effectively, just like your on-premises data center. 
right? And many cloud providers offer a broad set of policies, technologies, and controls that strengthen your security posture overall. They, all ha they have also many compliance offerings, which I am sure will meet your security requirements. And the next thing is types of cloud computing. There are predominantly three types of cloud computing. Public cloud, which is public clouds are owned and operated by third party cloud service provider, which delivers computing resources such as server and storage over the internet. Generally, 90% of the time, you will hear about public cloud such as AWS or Microsoft Azure in our case. And there is something called private cloud. A private cloud refers to cloud computing resources used exclusively by a single business or organization. A private cloud generally located physically on companies on premises data center. However, generally sometimes what happens is the bigger companies generally outsources their data center. That means uh, there will be one data center. Parts of it will be used by different companies, but the part is solely for the purpose of that company itself. For example, IBM private cloud is one example of the private cloud. And finally, the hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud combines public and private clouds bound together by technology that allows the data and applications to be shared between them. 90% of times people go with hybrid cloud. They will have some applications that is in other words, mission critical application within their on-premises data center and some applications within the cloud. And they connect all these applications using different cloud offerings such as Direct Connect in AWS and Express Route in terms of Microsoft Azure. So basically, you will have some application hosted on cloud and some applications in your on-premises data center. And there will be a channel open between the applications on public cloud and the applications within your on-premises data center. These are the types of cloud computing. Let's go through the types of cloud services. There are predominantly three types of cloud services. First one is infrastructure as a service, where you rent infrastructure, that is, in other words, servers and virtual machines, storage, network, operating systems from a cloud provider on a pay-as-you-go basis. So in terms of IAS, it covers the data center physical facility in the building. It covers networking, firewall, security, and it covers servers and storage as well. And if you want to go to further, you can go for plasma plat, platform as a service. Platform as a service. That refers to cloud computing services that supply an on-demand environment for developing, testing, delivering, and managing software applications. So platform as a service comes with operating system also. I will say not operating system, I would, I would say operating environment and all the de development tools. So for example, you want a server that supports .NET framework, then you go for platform as a service environment. Similarly, Java, PHP environment. And whatever you want to have, you can purchase it from the marketplace for you, okay? And the third one is software as a service. Software as a service is a method of delivering software applications over internet on demand and typically on a subscription level. So the best example is Salesforce, ServiceNow, Workday, all these applications are software as a service applications. So in terms of advantages and disadvantages of each of these cloud services, if you go with infrastructure as a service, you get maximum flexibility, but you will spend a lot of effort in maintaining the servers. 
right? However, when, when it comes to platform as a service, the flexibility gets reduced. But in terms of managing the environment that will be taken care for by cloud service provider uh, or Microsoft in our case. Okay, and in terms of software as a service, the flexibility is further reduced, but, but the effort, the IT effort to maintain the environment is also further reduced. So if you want more flexibility, then you need to go with infrastructure as a service. But if you want to minimize operational cost to a maximum extent, then try to explore the options of software as a service applications or PaaS offerings. Okay, so these are the types of cloud services. That's it for this video. In this video, I have provided you an introduction to cloud computing, benefits of the same types of cloud computing and types of cloud services. I hope you got a good understanding of this. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel because it takes a lot of effort in making this video. The smallest thing you can do is to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.